I do have new windshield wipers now because the other ones were completely shredded. Like they were like dangling like rubber pieces and stuff from it. And it's said not to do it in the freezing weather, um, but I did it anyway because I'm a gangster. So yeah, you guys can be proud of me for that. Thank you very much. Leave a, leave a like if you're proud of me that I changed my windshield wipers. I have a two person tent that I'm sleeping in. And I'm too tall. My feet hit the other side. So no place like home because my bed does, it's the same as my double bed. Thanks. I think the rain turned to sleep, finally. It's getting a little cold out, but it's not bad underneath in the sleeping bag. So it looks like it was dealt a bit of a curveball. I mean, I knew it was gonna snow, but I didn't know it was gonna be like, you know, New York kind of snow. I thought it was going to be a little, you know, a little drizzle. So, my fingers are pretty cold. I'm cleaning my car off. It's 3 a.m. I can't really sleep anyway. I'm sleeping like an hour at a time and then just waking up and finding like the tent collapsed because of this, the weight or something. So, I'm just taking it down. All right, I'm inside. I'm just uh, letting my fingers warm up a little bit. Uh, this is just bathhouse luxury uh, and I got to take down the tent and then probably just put it in the back it's got snow all over it um, and then I'll just rewrap it tomorrow probably that's how much snow has fallen since going to sleep that's where my tent was it is 3.30 um, time as I've always suspected and uh, kind of realized but like I've never had enough hands on experience to know for sure time moves very very differently when you're camping or when you're like, like in the wild <laughs> I know I'm not in the wild but like when you're not doing everyday stuff, it seems like things move a whole lot slower, or you're able to focus on more than one, like focus on one thing and just get it done quicker. I don't know which one it is yet. But I only woke up half an hour ago. And I mean, things are already taken down. Oh, I was gonna, yeah. The tent's already taken down. I'm in the car, I'm warming up. Uh, I'm I, Honestly, I'm ready to go. I just kind of dumped a bunch of stuff in the back seat. Um, I want to get it put actually back in the back, but since the tarps and stuff are wet, I want to let those kind of dry out a little bit or find out what I want to do with that. So, all that to say, where do I go? I mean, the next stop, it would be nice if I could get an early start. I mean, it's like a 14-hour drive, so it'd be a lot for one day still, but I mean, I could get farther. I'm, I'm okay with that. So maybe that's what I'll do. Yep, they were right. 32. A mere hours ago, it was 70. It's a pretty big jump. Hopefully once I get farther west, it'll be uh, a little warmer. But I've never done this in March. I have been out there in March, but never this specific, you know, hoping that it's going to be warm enough to camp and that kind of thing, so we'll see. This is literally a whole other world. Look at this. This is crazy. This is like upstate New York again. This is Tennessee in March. That's crazy.
officially good morning. It is 8 o'clock. And I didn't sleep that well last night. I think I slept a total of like three and a half hours. Maybe like four and a half because of that when I was like laying there trying to sleep and kind of dozing. But um, I have my thoughts from how, how, it, how I did. It was definitely unexpected. I mean, like, look at this. That's crazy, right? Um, definitely not what I had prepared for. So partially I feel kind of guilty a little bit because I, I woke up at 3 a.m. and was like, I'm not doing this. The tent's collapsing. Um, you know, it's, it actually wasn't too cold. It is cold, but my sleeping bag is rated for 30 degrees and, and above. So actually by the time I was in my sleeping bag, I didn't even notice that it was cold. It was just, I woke up and my tent was collapsing and there was snow on it. So I was like, oh, well the rain must've turned to snow and it did. So I was like, I, I, I can't, you know, I, I didn't prepare for this. Um, so I took it down and I rolled it back up and whatever. I put it in the car and I took a shower and came back in here, slept in this seat for a little bit. Um, and now I'm just going to kind of get McDonald's and refresh and start another day. Cause I have my breakfast. I wasn't going to get like restaurant meals, but I, I just, I, I want to kind of start again. Um, but I do have new windshield wipers now because the other ones were completely shredded. Like they were like dangling like rubber pieces and stuff from it. And it's said not to do it in the freezing weather. Um, but I did it anyway because I'm a gangster. So yeah, you guys can be proud of me for that. Thank you very much. Leave a, leave a like if you're proud of me that I changed my windshield wipers um, in the freezing weather even though it said not to. Well then. Winds must have been stronger than I thought last night. Or they're doing work. I can't really tell, actually. But I don't know why they would leave it sitting out. It looks like they're just doing work. But why would they leave it sitting on the road? That's weird. Beautiful. Battery smooth. It won't save you money on your car insurance, but it will clear your windshield of little raindrops or snow. So the power was out in Target. That was interesting. That's all. So due to the unforeseen events of snow, I think I'm actually going to have to call it quits and come back another time, which is really unfortunate and I really don't want to, but I mean, I can't camp in this. Um, and I planned to camp with money as well. Um, cause I'm, you know, I get paid, I get a couple paychecks next week actually because of commission, but I don't have it right now. So I'm kind of low right now. And if I have to go like, you know, front anymore for like actual hotels or whatever I want to do, like, it's just kind of uh, like it. Plus everywhere is cold. Even Albuquerque, New Mexico is 33 degrees right now. Now it's earlier there, I realize, but still like that's, I think I just didn't plan enough or something, but it's usually not this cold halfway through March in like the desert. So like, I don't, I don't know if that's new for this year or not, but, um, we got two vlogs out of it, which is cool. Um, and I think I'll probably do this again in like July and a do a little bit more planning as far as like weather and backup plans and stuff. Um, cause it's just, it's kind of just, 
blindsided me <laughs> about with all the snow. I did not expect this at all. Um, so it was kind of a, I mean, it was a, it was a fun drive. It was just Knoxville, Tennessee. There's nothing really special that I'm doing here, but I mean, it was, it was a drive. Um, and I still get a couple days off. So yeah, it looks like that's, that's kind of what's going to happen. So So I'm back, flat hair and all. Um, a little bit disappointing that that didn't work out, but I'll go sometime over the summer. Um, I just kind of wanted to reflect a little bit because, I mean, I was only out there for like a day, like not even a day. And I already came back and I turned the heat on and I was like, I am so thankful for my bed and for a, you know, home and for, you know, everything else. I, I mean, I didn't even suffer while I was out there. Put some, put some things in perspective. So it was, it was nice. I guess it did what it was intended to do. Um, I was hoping it would be a little bit longer and there would be more fun to that side, not just the lesson. But, um, yeah, I'm very thankful for the, uh, house that I have, AKA the apartment room and, uh, the computer that I could afford and the heat and the soft bed and the bed frame now. Yeah, lots of stuff. So, um, couldn't finish it, but all good. Thanks for watching guys.